Hi guys, welcome to the Rocket Gas Posting demonstration video. In this quick video, we're going to create a test project, a test campaign, and then find some websites that we can guest post on. So after you've created an account, you should be presented with this screen here. We'll create a new project. For this demonstration, we'll say we're trying to find get websites to guest post on for our cooking website. So we'll just call this Cooking with Jamie, and we'll say our website is cookingwithjamie.com. So click next. Now we have a project created. Now we have a project. We need to make our first campaign for that project. So we click New Campaign. And we're just going to say this campaign we want to guest post about cooking with rice or something. So we'll just call that guest posting about rice. Next step. Now you'll see we've presented with a screen with two different methods that we can search for websites to guest post on in the cooking niche. So first you can search by niche keywords and secondly by majestic website topics. So let's quickly discuss these. So if we're going to search by niche keyword, then we'd enter something like cooking uh, rice um, healthy eating recipes, etc. And if we were going to search by majestic category, we should hopefully find a cooking category there. So for now, let's search by keyword and see what we find. So we click search and now this can take up to 60 seconds because we have around 100,000 guest posting websites and we've indexed a large chunk of content from those websites. We have around about a terabyte of content searched through now. So after about 60 seconds, you can see for these keywords, three keywords here, we have 2,225 search results found. Now, just a quick tip when you're searching with keywords, the more keywords you enter, the more results you're likely to find, and the broader your keywords are, the more results you're likely to find. So what I mean by broader is if you want to guest post specifically about cooking with rice, if you search rice, you probably will find results, probably a few hundred, but if you search for cooking and recipes, which are much broader keywords, you'll find many, many more results. So let's have a quick browse through some of these results and we'll talk about the results grid here. So you can see first we've got the domain. So this is the website that allows guest posters. We've got the match score. So this is the score we've given this website in relation to how similar their content is to your keywords. So you can see we scored this website, Quirky Cooking 10 out of 10, because obviously that's highly likely to be about cooking. And if you want to see the match, the score calculations, you can click this button and it will show you the content that matched your search terms. So you can see all these articles on the website are about cooking and they've all got a high match score and they're all taken into account when we figure out the grand total score here. Next, we have the domain authority. That's the Moz domain authority. So you can see that's domain authority of 36. We have the SEM rush traffic. So you can see SEM rush thinks it gets around 2000 hits visitors a month. We have keywords. So that's how many keywords it's ranking for on Google at the moment, according to SEM rush. We have the majestic trust flow and we also have any social data we've managed to pick up. So there you go. So we've managed to pull their Twitter profile. We know they've got 5,000 Twitter followers. And we've also got their Facebook profile link. And you can see they've got a lot of likes and a lot of shares. So you can tell they're a genuine website. Next, we have spam. So for this website here, we've asked Moz, what's the spam score for this website? And it hasn't worked it out yet because sometimes they need a lot of data about a website to work it out. But you can see for most of the others, we have managed to pull the spam score from Moz. Anchors here. So when we click that, 
that will give you a list of the outbound anchors on that website. And the reason you, that's really handy to have is because at a glance straight away, you can see by the outbound anchors, you know, is this a PBN linking to really cheap spammy websites or is it a genuine website? And you can see looking at these anchors, it looks like a genuine website. Something we do with these anchors is we have a list of spammy keywords and if any of the anchors hit that list of spammy keywords such as pharmaceutical, um, adult, gambling, etc. We'll put those first in this list and we'll highlight them in red for you to see. Next we have guest post pages. So these are the pages we found on the website that tell our system that this website accepts guest posters. Now if we click that, that will bring back a list of pages. So you can see here there's a guest post um, about recovering from a certain disease um, using cooking. And our certainty score is that's the score out of 10 um, that makes us think that it's a guest post. And you can drill down into that a bit more here. So we'll just skip through one more really quickly. Um, fuss free cooking. You can see there's tons and tons and tons of content about cooking. And we've used all that to calculate that it's a very relevant hit. It's main authority, 51. Traffic, nice, 31,000. Loads of keywords ranking on Google. Let's have a look what social we got for this. So we couldn't find their Facebook. Uh, they might not have one, but we did find their Twitter profile, 800-ish Twitter followers. Let's see what guest post pages we've got. Yeah, you can see they've got a guest post there. Let's just do one more. Playful cooking, you can see it's highly relevant. All this cooking related content here. Nice domain authority, good bit of traffic, lots of keywords. Let's see what social we pulled found their Facebook, 10,000 likes, 1,000 shares. Let's have a quick look at their anchors. Yeah, you can see that looks pretty normal. Nothing's too spammy there, or nothing spammy at all that I can see. And let's have a quick look at their guest posting pages. So you can see, although they don't have guest post in the title, we can see in the URL, it's got guest post by, um, yeah, and you can see there's guest posts in the body and the H1 tag in the URL. So that's, those two are definitely guest posts. So once you've got some results for your queries, you can add them to the campaign like so, and then you can perform more searches with more keywords and add more results to the same campaign. Or you can export um, your results here. And if we just have a quick look at the export options, you can see that we can export the websites for just this search, the websites for the entire campaign um, where we added results from previous searches. And a nice little feature is we can add the emails that we found on the website when we were pulling the content for it. Now you can add just the, you can add all the emails we found, um, or you can add just the emails that were found on the contact pages. And you can add the SEO stats in as well. So you'll, when you click export, you'll get a nice CSV with all the email addresses we found and all the SEO stats. Now we just hit export um, and the CSV downloaded and I've opened it up in the Google Sheets here. So you can see for this exact um, search with these terms. This is the CSV that will be generated. And you can see we've got the domain, how relevant we think it is, the search queries, the MozDA, Majestic Trust Flow, um, the number of ranking keywords on Google, I believe that is. Yep, number of SEMrush ranking keywords, SEMrush monthly traffic, and the emails that we found on the website. Um, and as you can see, uh, many, many, many websites we've managed to pull 
um, emails from that we can use to contact the owners. Now, some people might just want to leave it at that, do the search, get the results, get the email addresses, bulk mail them. Um, but for people that want a more controlled way of doing the outreach in a more managed way, um, we have another option where we have a templating system and once you set a template, you can start your campaign and then you can set the status of each one saying I've outreached to it or they're not interested or it was successful. Um, and that gives you more control over your campaign. And we'll go over that now. So now we've got a handful of websites in our campaign. We will select outreach template up there. And now we configure the template that we're going to use to reach out to these websites. So I'm just going to pick a random existing template here. Uh, you can preview it first if you want. But I'm just going to save that selection. And then we're going to go start reaching out. And now you can see there's the eight websites that we added into our campaign before. And you can see you can click here to open them in a new window or open them inside the application. We've got access to the social stats again, um, the SEO stats here. You can review the guest post pages and you can view the message copy it automatically your clipboard and you can see we've also got emails that were found on the website and there's a shortcut there that will automatically open your default email application and populate it with the body of your populate the body of your email with the chosen outreach message they're just all things to streamline the outreach process and finally here we have a status of each website where you can say, okay, you know, I sent the first outreach message or they've got back to me and they're not interested or we're negotiating price. Um, and then you can filter down to websites that are in a particular state to help you manage your outreach campaign. So hopefully you can see the power of this system now. We've got an absolutely huge database of websites that accept guest posts. Um, it's around 100,000 websites big. And then of that 100,000, we've also indexed a big chunk of their content. So this system helps you find websites that you wouldn't normally find by doing general Google searches because there's a lot of websites that are in quite broad niches that um, your searches on Google wouldn't normally pick up. But because we're indexing all the content, um, you know, we will pick those broader websites up. And again, there's other, you know, really cool features this, of this application, like we're indexing all the emails that we find. So you can search for um, all of your all the websites that you want using the keyword search and then export all the emails that you find on those websites um, and then you can just do a bulk outreach campaign you know w within minutes so rather than spending days searching google for different keywords adding it to a spreadsheet then going through them one by one you know that can take months if you want to using this system you can search for your for the websites using keywords or the majestic category then export the emails and then just do a big bulk you know outreach say hey can i guess post on your website how much is it um etc etc you know you're saving yourself months uh so that's it guys thanks for watching and i hope you enjoy using the tool